evening, everybody. Good evening. We are strolling Crescent Lake this evening. We're a little bit later than usual. It's almost eight o'clock already. I know. Um, I had a serious migraine today. Still kind of have it. Still You're kind still of fighting like it. Three or four hours. Yeah, during the day. Um, but I'm feeling better, so we decided to stroll. Take an easy night. Mm -hmm. We might watch Illuminations or something, but that's the plan. This is where we were. On this rock. <laughs> a year ago yesterday. Oh, was that close? Like yeah, yesterday. because um, remember I tweeted last year, I was like, well, I just publicly exclaimed that I would do the dopey next year, so this is where we were. When you're watching this, it'll be Tuesday. So when you're watching this tomorrow, we can say, the expo begins and officially race weekend begins. And look what I got in the middle. I got my first piece of swag. Of swag for the week. A world free from cancer would be a magical place. So Speaking of, I think we're going to announce the giveaway winners today. Tonight? Yeah. Perfect. No more gingerbread carousel. If you've got that special 4K with an asterisk next to a TV, when the asterisk stands for smell vision. Whoa. <laughs> You could still smell. It's like, where is this going? <laughs> you can still smell the Christmas in here. So, I'm gonna tell you a little trick when it comes to the resort mugs when you are staying on property and you've got the dining planner, you purchase them, or your local when you purchase them, like we had before. But across the way at Boardwalk, you have to pay $3.50 for the Joffrey's Cold Brew. But if you walk over to the Beach Club, Right there. It's in the self serve section. So if you've got the resort mug, Boom! oh my gosh, <laughs> you just scared me so bad. If you have the resort mug, you can use that at that, and it's inclusive of the like twenty bucks you pay for the t for your stay or part of your dining plan when you do the dining plan. I was telling them my, the secret about the cold, cold brew being available for the resort mugs when you're staying. So we're, just, we're gonna go see the Salarium because you know we love it, but look at the sign right outside. The Salarium, Salarium Premium Coffee Bar, open daily, 5.30 a.m. to 12.30. If you have been there before, let us know. Maybe this weekend we'll try to, well, we'll be here early on the weekend, so maybe you can come during one of the runs yeah. and check Grab it out. Coffee? Uh, probably not, but maybe. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> P.S., that was Sarah during her CP eight years, seven years ago. Turn right, quick. Ooh, it's artsy oh, fartsy. Seaside retreat. So, oh wait, tonight's movie and the seaside retreat. It's at six thirty. It's long over. What's the seaside retreat? Well, the first thing I noticed was like they moved around and I think brought or just shifted the couches and chairs because there's the fancy specialty coffee bar. Well, that was easy. We found the Seaside Retreat, which is just next to the gift shop on the other side. And this is where there's the arts and the crafts and the movies. That reminds me more of like the community, community hall, hall. That might be this resort's community hall. Old Key West. We just never went that far because we're always like, let's go to the solarium. And there's massive beanbags in there, so when they're not cleaning up and there's only like four cast members in there, we'll go hang out in there and show you all the beanbags. <laughs> and now. We chill for it a little bit. I even took off my flip flops. Ooh. I'm so happy to, to be wearing flip flops again. It had been so cold. It's still chilly. But it's it's like beautiful right now. As we take our, continue our stroll around Crescent Lake. Oh, it's INAP Awards Dinner. Okay, I was like, I'm always wondering what's in there. And I'm so stubborn about cover charges yeah. that this is why we've never been in, we, Sarah and I have never been in Jelly Rolls. We should go soon. I should just bite my tongue yeah. and we should just pay the cover. It. It's like five or ten dollars. I think it's eleven. Do you hear that? They're playing Go the Distance. <laughs> See, they're telling us to go the distance and to go inside. Well, with that kind of enthusiasm, how could I not do it? That hammer came down. This egg is broken. If you guys had fun at the Coney Island Chris show, let me hear you say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
turned and walked away. Tony Allen Chris. I know, I tagged him in my post. Really? Yeah, you can you follow. Before. I know, I just tagged him. That was the first time I ever heard of it. Also, the crowd. Good crowd. Seems like we're always just a little bit too late for fireworks and I've got these days. I do not want illuminations to leave Whoa. ever. You just got very passionate. It's very true. fast. I like illuminations more than wishes. Me too. I always this I've never said this on the vlog. I have indeed told you this. I told people this, I've never told the vlog this. That I'd like I don't know if I'll keep this but I'd like illumination soundtrack to play while giving birth. <laughs> you and I that. would not have a wishes playing during birth. That'd be way too sad. Um, um, I also am nervous that air hearts are going to stop coming back to Disney World after <laughs> illumination is gone. They won't. They won't. They won't. <laughs> but it's like literally the most empowering piece of music. Apparently, a few other people want the same idea. The vlog it's almost over, but for us. It's a good sign when your favorite song is playing when you walk in the Disney spring. Oh, the audio might sound different today because I accidentally dipped the tip of the microphone in a cup of water <laughs> when we were leaving. The microphone's fine, it's just the air dry. Yeah. We didn't use it tonight. If you didn't hear what song that was, it was Come On Eileen. Sarah's jam. It's my my number one car jam of all time. And when you commute to school three hours a day for five years, you, you, you know you know your car jams. From far away, we can't bear to go in again. Oh, uh, it looks like the signs are true. I have to check the garbage can. Nothing. Clean. I'm scared. No, I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident if it's not back by February, then I'll be I'll then I'll be scared. So. We're stopping our excursion this way of Springs at the Christmas store. Not even going through the Christmas store because now we got to get back to our seats. Wait, did you just... even say we're seeing the movie? No. I love this Mickey Mouse right there. He's like a chimney sweep kind of Mickey looking guy. Which is ironic because we're going to see a lamplighter. With no chimney sweep. But with a lamplighter who's themed after a chimney sweep. Named Jack, right? Yeah. Because we're going to go see... Mary, Mary Poppins, Poppins returns in the Dolby Cinema. Oh man, this is Sarah's favorite Disney Springs band. And they're playing Mamma Mia. I like how they like change out their like players and stuff so like in a break. Yeah, I can hear the about to enter the Dolby Cinema. But Sarah just pointed out, which way do we go? We're seats 11 and 12, so I think Sarah has to go that way, and I have to go this way. Goodbye! Oh, then you go that way. <laughs> Wait, I'm just gonna follow you. <laughs> what yeah. did you see? I thought it was really good. Yeah. Very, you know, you guys know I love happy movies, and it was a very happy movie. I uh, agree with what Sarah was talking about before, where it's like, it needed to be, it was great, but you could literally, every song, like, correlate to that, to the original. Like, oh, that's supposed to be that one. That one's trying to be that one. That one's trying to be that one. Yeah. Um, but it was still a really good movie. <laughs> My other thought that I don't think I said on camera was that what I liked about this one is that the songs, like, really told each like lesson that they were learning. Yeah. Like it does in, in the first one, but I felt like this correlated it more to how the books are because I, Peter got me a couple of the books and I read them last year. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like familiar more with like the format now of like how they were written and I think that that follows like how the book flowed. More, more. true to the, the books, the novels. I miss those bookstores that I got those. I got them at like, these like old awesome secondhand bookstores on the north side of Chicago. Mr. American Cancer Society sweatshirt has our winners. 
Yes. The two signs, this one mm -hmm. and this one. To finish up, if you remember, we had, it's been a few weeks since we needed to announce this, but we started a giveaway where if you donated after a certain date to finish the fundraising to get us to three thousand uh, that two thousand dollar goal, you were put into a raffle to win one of those two signs, and the mm -hmm. two winners are for this sign. We'll do this one first. Katie Plant. Mm hmm And for this sign. Marion Corderone. So if that is you, please send us a message on one of our social medias. We'll put a bunch of ways, different ways in the information down mm -hmm. below, like our like our our YouTube email, mm -hmm. or you can insta message us or like direct message us on Twitter, Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can even Facebook message us group. on our website. Yes. Um let us know if that's you. Send us your address, and we will send you... We'll ship it off to you. Oh. It's so late. It is. It's scary late. One forty-three in the morning. Mm-hmm. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. It's great to be home. It's great to about to crawl in the bed. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.